first graders. I hope you had a great weekend. In today's lesson, we are going to be learning about the different types of animal classifications, along with some fun facts about them, like what they like to eat and where they usually live. Make sure to take out your science notebooks and grab a pencil to follow along with our video lesson today. If you need to pause this video to grab your materials, please do so now. In today's lesson, we will review a couple of words that will appear in the video, learn about the five main types of animals, talk about their traits, diets, and habitats, and look at examples of each type of animal as well. The first word I want to review is habitat. Habitat is a place where a particular type of animal or plant normally lives or grows. It provides food, water, and shelter. Herbivores are animals that eat plants. Carnivores are animals that eat meat. And omnivores are animals that eat both meat and plants. Warm-blooded animals are ones that can control their body temperature, and cold-blooded animals are ones that cannot control their body temperature. The picture at the top of the screen shows examples of each type of animal. The first type of animal we are learning about today are mammals. What is a mammal? A mammal is an animal that has hair or fur, drinks milk, is warm-blooded, and has a backbone. If you can think of an animal that fits this description, pause the video and write it down in your notebook. What do mammals eat? Some mammals are carnivores and some mammals are herbivores. Do you remember what both of those words mean? Pause the video and write down your answer in your notebook. If you said a carnivore eats meat and an herbivore eats plants, you're correct. Give yourself a pat on the back. Where do mammals live? Mammals live pretty much anywhere. They can live on dry land, in the desert or rainforest, in water, or in the mountains. Do you recognize any of these mammals? Some examples are dogs and cats, otters, monkeys, pandas, zebras, rabbits, and horses. There are so many more mammals in the world. Some of you might even have a pet that is a mammal. If so, pause the video and write down what type of animal you have in your notebook. If not, I want you to write down what your favorite mammal is. Guess what? Even we are mammals. Think about it. We have hair, we drink milk, we are warm-blooded, and we have a backbone. The second type of animal we are learning about today are amphibians. What are amphibians? Has anyone ever heard of an amphibian before? Here's a little bit about them. They are cold-blooded, they have webbed feet, they lay lots of eggs, they live the first part of their lives in water and they use their gills to breathe, and they live the second part of their lives on land and they use their lungs to breathe. What do amphibians eat? Amphibians eat things like bugs, worms, and snails. Where do amphibians live? Amphibians usually live in wet places like forests, rivers, lakes, ponds, and swamps. Do you recognize any of these amphibians? Some examples are frogs, salamanders, newts, and toads. Has anyone ever seen an amphibian out in the wild? If so, 
pause this video and write down what you saw and where in your notebook. The third group of animals we are learning about today are birds. What are birds? Birds are animals that have feathers and wings, lay eggs, are warm-blooded, and have light bones that help them fly. What do birds eat? Birds usually eat seeds, fruits, vegetables, grains, or nuts. Where do birds live? Birds live in diverse habitats. They live in mountains, forests, deserts, or by the water. They usually fly to warmer places in the winter as well. Do you recognize any of these birds? Some examples are eagles, pigeons, seagulls, cardinals, and parrots. These are just a few examples, but there are many other kinds of birds. If you can think of one that I didn't mention, pause the video and write it down in your notebook. The fourth type of animal we are learning about today are fish. What are fish? Fish are animals that are cold-blooded and have scales, fins, and gills. Gills allow the fish to breathe underwater. What do fish eat? Fish usually eat things like different types of plants in the water, seaweed or seagrass, and plankton. Where do fish live? I think we all know that fish live in the water. That could mean in ponds, lakes, swamps, or the ocean. Does anyone recognize these types of fish? I'm sure some of you have a pet fish, or at least you've probably seen some of these types of fish before. Has anyone seen the movie Finding Nemo? If so, you probably see Nemo and Dory up here. The last type of animal we are learning about today are reptiles. What are reptiles? Reptiles are animals that have dry and scaly skin, are cold-blooded, and they lay soft shell eggs. What do reptiles eat? Reptiles eat things like insects, worms, frogs, fish, and plants. Where do reptiles live? Reptiles live all over. They live on land, in the water, in deserts, and also in rainforests. Does anyone recognize any of these reptiles? Some common examples are lizards, turtles, snakes, and alligators. Have you ever seen or maybe even held a reptile before? What kind was it? Pause this video now and write it down in your notebook. This sheet is for homework. You need to click the blue link and print the worksheet. Cut out the animals and either glue them or tape them in the correct box according to what type of animal it is. For example, you will place the butterfly in the first box labeled insects. Do this for each animal until all of the boxes are filled with a picture. Refer to this video if you need help completing the activity. In our next lesson, we will learn more about the six different types of habitats and the animals that live there. To give you a preview, we will be talking about the desert, the ocean, the rainforest, the wetlands, the Arctic, and the forest. As a reminder, please do not forget to take the Google assessment quiz. 
I hope you all have a great weekend. See you next time.